how's everybody doing it's a cleanup day it's been a beautiful weekend had a couple couple big piles to burn i'm not gonna get them all burnt today but the one uh the other video i did of all the trees i was clearing out uh, on that side of the house there as you can see i got it going it's been kind of difficult getting it going this morning uh I normal usually just take a aluminum can with gas or diesel in it i'm hauling more trees over to the fire that's my bumpy and i'm huffing and puffing a little bit but uh usually just take an aluminum can cut the top off fill it with gas put it under a good area of the the, the stack the pile and light it it takes off and it worked for a little while this morning but just couldn't get it so some cardboard boxes so threw those on there and threw a bunch of diesel in that box and lit that and now we're now we're doing a lot better so as you can see this pile go away so you can see a pretty good size mainly the slash pile um, from all these trees I cut down it's like 12 or 15 I cut down I still got another probably 10 to cut down um, but I got to get this cleaned up before I start laying trees over trees and making a mess, which I did that with a couple and excuse me, spider on me. And uh, so I was going to do a couple smaller slash piles, but I just made the kids come out here and help me in one big pile. And then I got a pile out by the road too, but that one will burn easier because it's it's older wood. It's not so green. And I also got the uh, bonfire pit going behind me over there. That was the kids project. Um, it's like pulling teeth trying to teach the kids that, you know, get out here and do something and help and build a slash pile, learn how to build a fire. And, uh, you know, they're complaining and complaining. And I told them, I'm like, you know, I could have this done five minutes ago, been way easier. I don't have to argue and tell you guys I'm ruining your day for the last two hours to get you to do something, but I'm not teaching you anything, you know, I'm just doing it myself because it's easier. And so it's harder for me to argue with you guys to try to teach you something so i don't know if they get it or not but when they get older they'll get it i suppose so anyways i got them got that fire going they're supposed to be babysitting that one i'm gonna have to go in there and remind them of that because nobody's really paying attention to it so um i got my hose over here ran from the house just in case got a shovel got the uh, i don't think you can see it it's all the smoke i got the skid steer over there it's ready to push the slash pile up as it uh, starts dwindling down. Filled that up today with fuel tank. Super nice, not having to use a damn jug. Trying to get it in there and take forever for those darn things to to dump out. I did buy some uh, those motorcycle jugs that don't that have a vent, like the old school gas cans used to have, and they were on Amazon and. They're on sale with the hose and the fittings and the cap and all that stuff for the less than most of them I could buy for four of them. So I ordered it, came in the mail or the other day, Amazon, and no hoses. So I messaged the company a couple of times and they haven't got back to me. So I think they're trying to pull a fast one and just get people to buy it, give up and just go buy the hoses yourselves. But I'm not going to. I'm going to send them back to them, make them, cost them some money if they can't provide what... They said they were going to. Who knows? They might get back to me tomorrow and, and uh, send me them. So hopefully. So I just wanted to get on here and show you the, you know, slash pile. It's still wet around here. It's a beautiful day. Yesterday was a beautiful day. We're going to start the pit. Get our first barbecue of the season going on today. A barbecue, a tri-tip, and some chicken thighs. And have some family over. And, uh, yeah, just pay attention to this and... Burn some meat. Cows are doing good. They actually got out, so we had them in a small area because we didn't want to put them with horses right away. We figured we'd do that today. We'd introduce them together. They can smell each other over the gate, whatever. Introduced them to each other. Well, I guess they decided to introduce themselves to each other last night because I think the bull, he decided uh, he didn't want to be in that little pen and started pushing on the gate. Well, the only thing holding the gate was an old T-post that was not in great shape. Ended up bending the t-post over and breaking it got out into the big pen they're fine i'm just keeping an eye on him making sure he's not trying to find weaknesses in all the other fences which 
He doesn't seem to be. He's just milling around, checking stuff out. I think he just wanted more room, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's all going good. Uh, this morning we had the lambs and the cows talking to the turkeys. So now we usually hear the turkeys and the chickens. Well, now the turkeys are talking to the lambs and the cows. So they're all just this one big happy musical symphony in the morning. But it's all good. So, yeah. And, uh, oh, I, yeah, I filled the skid steer up with the diesel at the tank. It was awesome. Pulled the cap off. Uh, and this unit is right under here, right there. And I uh, set the cap off to the side. And I also wanted to fill up my yellow can, too. So I filled the tractor. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to fill the can real quick. I'll put the cap back on, right? Don't forget, don't forget, put the cap back on. Got sidetracked, forgot to put the cap back on. Came over here, was pushing the slash pile up. Turned the skid steer around and was headed back out the way I came in. And lo and behold, the cap is sitting right there in the middle of the trail where I came in. And I saw it without running it over or having to go look for it. I don't know how lucky you can get, but sometimes you do. <laughs> this, uh, I, that's insane. Because I came from all the way over there, bumping around, and it made it all the way to here and landed right where I saw it when I turned around. So, that's cool. But, all right, I'm going to get back to... Uh, she's starting to smoke a little bit. Back to my chores here. And uh, hope everybody's having a good one. God bless you all. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button thumbs down leave a good comment bad comment help your brother out maybe subscribe just trying to share our our life up here with everybody check you later